following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to start out the show today with the request from um, St. Looking at the chart for Netflix. Uh, I've posted it into the room here, and as you can see in the Tiger Den, of course, but if you, as you can see, uh, it's gotten below the 85 level. I think we're trading a tad above that right now. But, uh, you know, it's hard to trade these stocks into earnings like this because uh, over the last seven times that uh, Netflix has re reported earnings, it's had a 13 to 15 percent move the following day, either up or down. So the only way you can do that basically is to do, you know, a put or call uh, because to protect yourself, I mean, it's almost impossible with the, with the gaps that big. So. Um, we did get down to, I believe, someone's telling, Duffy's telling us we got down to 85.82. Uh, the last I saw it was trading at 86 and change, but that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, not involved in this at all, but we've got some things coming up today that uh, look very, very interesting that we talked about yesterday. And I got uh, a lot of... Um, a lot of email yesterday uh, about our guest, uh, Bill Meridian from um, Cycles Research in Vienna, Austria. Uh, he does an incredible job, and he's a uh, really an astute cycle person, uh, as well as being someone who's very good in uh, the astro realm. But um, I met Bill, oh my gosh, 35 years ago, and we traveled to Singapore uh, back in 1999 to do a seminar together and we became really good friends uh, during that time. Well, we were friends before, but we had uh, uh, spent a lot of time together, so we got to be uh, got to be some pretty good friends. Now, one of the things that I focused on in this week's um, newsletter was the the fact that the dollar had a pretty good chance of becoming uh, pretty strong. And the reason for that was, of course, I look at the euro first because the euro is the one that is the uh, leader of the pack when you're looking at the dollar index. That's 53 percent of the dollar index, uh, you know, is the euro. And as you can see, um, we had this uh, big move down um, yesterday or this was a, as of Friday. And then, of course, we had a little rally up and now we're heading down. Uh, towards that uh, 10, uh, 109 level. So uh, that's what it looked like. And we see the same thing in the British pound, and we see the same thing in uh, all the other currencies, including, of course, was the Australian dollar that had completed a uh, perfect Gartley up here on Friday. Uh, it actually missed the exact uh, 786 level by uh, two pips in the Australian dollar at uh, it got as high as 7690 the exact 786 was 7692 so it came very very close and that just tells us that the dollar is going to be strong here over the next few days or week basically you know that's uh, pretty much what you're what you're watching so we'll see we've got a few things here that uh, that look interesting uh, today that we, we that we we mentioned yesterday, and let's just let's just go into that right now. This is the this is the the wheat, and uh, this is September wheat that we're going to look at here, and uh, you know these are just patterns, folks. Uh, this is all related to patterns and ratios. There's nothing uh, fundamental that we're looking at. There's no um, uh, indicators that we're watching. We're looking at purely price and time coming together. Uh, at certain times. And as you can see here, um, we had a new moon back on July the 5th. Then we had the big rally in wheat where it rallied uh, 40 cents a bushel, which is uh, $2,000. And you can see that ABCD structure uh, that took it up to the 61% retracement at that 452 level. And now we're over the full moon today. 
Uh, this is the this is the day of the full moon. So we really need to be watching uh, the uh, wheat here for a potential bottom. Now, what we what we try to do is we try to match up the bottom, you know, with some price pattern that lines up with this full moon. And that's what we're looking at here. If you'll notice this chart, you'll notice that the spike that we had uh, down there at 420 yesterday, uh, the market rallied 10 cents a bushel, $500, and now it's backing off. Uh, we're trading at around 423 right now. Well, what I try to do is I'm on this particular chart, I'm looking at a 60-minute chart, and I'm trying to line it up to give me the best possible shot I can have as far as where it's going to be today on the 19th of uh, July, and that's really what I'm trying to do. So what I'm going to do now is to show you uh, that I take the time frame and I'm going to reduce the time frame down to a half hour chart. And as you can see here, now we're looking at September wheat over the last three days. You can see the up and down movement that we're having. And my assumption is because wheat is very, very uh, powerful with following these uh, lunar cycles, uh, these 14 day cycles that we have. Um, and this goes back to uh, you know, Dr. Andrew Lowe's work on uh, the evolution of technical analysis that he wrote about 10 years ago. And the first 50 pages of that book uh, describes, uh, you know, the astrological implications of technical analysis. And he mentions that the first technicians were astrologers. And uh, this is all I'm doing is looking at the dates. You know, I'm looking at new moons and full moons, and I'm trying to match the pattern. And if you look at this closely, you'll see that we'll have a three drive to a bottom pattern down at that 418 level, which is five cents from where we're trading right now, which is um, you know nothing in wheat. But if you buy this, uh, you know, you've got a place to stop somewhere because if you get below 408, uh, something is, uh, is really wrong. So you've got a two to one risk reward ratio on the wheat if you're right. Uh, and if you're wrong, you're going to lose $500. So you become a wheat farmer for $500. You don't have to own the farm. You don't have to buy a tractor. You don't have to buy the seed. You don't have to go to the bank for the loan. Uh, you don't have to go to the, uh, the grain elevator to hedge your crop or anything like You just basically, you're in the wheat market as a short-term farmer. And that's, uh, that's basically what we'll be doing if we get uh, this wheat down to the 423 level. Now, there's another larger ABCD pattern over the last four days that also measures to that 418 level. So we got three things to tell us that this could be a potential bottom here uh, in the wheat market. We've got the pattern for the three drive. We've got the uh, 1.27 uh, expansion. And we have the ABCD structure. Uh, that measures there too. And then finally, we have the timing uh, that has been pretty good. As you can see, on July the 5th, that was the low in wheat. So we're expecting with the full moon coming in today that we might have that uh, same thing occurring. So that's how that trade sets up. I'm not so sure if it's going to win, but you're never sure. The only thing you're ever going to be sure about is that uh, the only thing you can control when you're trading is the amount of risk that you can take. And that's the whole key you know, to trading. You have to focus on how much money you can lose as opposed to how much money you can win. And that's the, the real key of watching what we're looking at. So we're going to take a little break here to pay some bills. 877-927-6648. is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry powered by the acclaimed 
TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay, folks, uh, we've had a request to take a look at uh, VMW. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, we'll, uh, it looks like it's going to have earnings out. We stopped right at the 786 yesterday, uh, but this, this chart has gaps all over it, so I don't see anything here to do at all, absolutely nothing. Oh, we've got a caller from uh, Orlando. Kevin, are you there? Hey, Larry. How are you doing today? Very good. Hey, uh, enjoy the show. I, uh, did you mention yesterday that uh, you knew Marty Armstrong? Oh, sure. Yes, I've met. Well, we're not friends, but we're acquaintances. I, I've met him several times over the years. We've been on the same speaking uh, uh, tour before. So, sure, I know who he is. Yes, absolutely. I've, I've learned so much uh, from reading some of his stuff on, on patterns and history. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, I, I just found it, uh, I thought that was kind of cool that I think you guys have some similar philosophies. Oh, but, he's uh, he, he's one smart cookie, Kevin. Let me tell you, that boy. Sure? <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's way out there in the uh, he's out there in that Obi Wan Kenobi area. He's really, <laughs> really smart, and uh, uh, you know he he really knows his stuff. No question about it. Yeah, he sure does. Hey, I was wondering if you could take a look at Freeport. We've kind of busted through this resistance between the ten and twelve area. Okay. And not sure if I should hold on to this much longer. We're we're starting to break out on this uh, on this stock. I just kind of want to see what your thoughts were. This is uh, Freeport Mac Moran. Is that what it is? That's correct. Okay, just a second here. Um, I see we've had this straight up move here in July, and uh, we had a pretty good day uh, in it yesterday. But you know, you're setting what you're doing now. Uh, you're setting right at the 78 percent retracement of the high that we made back in uh, April. So yep. what I would do is I would raise my stop to around, uh, put about 60 cents on it, for around, one, around $12 and say 50 cents or 50, you know, pick a number, you know, yep. 12.50, 12.40. And if it gets below that, 
then I would look to buy it because if you could get it down to about eight again, which this thing jumps around quite a bit, you know, sure. you could certainly look at it. But we, we still have a chance, you know, that we made some type of a major top in, in all of these metals. Right. Uh, but, but it still looks bullish, gold and silver. So, you know, maybe copper is going to be pulled up with it. I'm not sure. But that's what I would do uh, with this okay. one. You, Came close yesterday. We got down to 1260 and change, and it was on really light volume. And and then it finished the uh, the rest of the day strong. So, um, you know, that was kind of right around the point where where I was looking at on it. So I just wanted to confirm, you know, somewhere around that range as to where my stop should be. That's what I would do. Um, I'm not able to post this chart uh, into the Tiger Den right now, but if you folks at home or that are listening, just take a look at the chart, and you'll see that you know we're making a perfect 78% retracement uh, from that high that we made back in April. And remember now, we may do highs in uh, gold and silver since that time, so you know this one's been lagging a little bit. And long term, this is still very, very bearish, but you know short term, we've had one heck of a rally. Yeah, and I think what's kind of brought it down is it's weighted, you know, it's uh, oil and, and copper, I think, has been, uh, you know, it's not just a gold and, and silver mining oh. stock. I think the, uh, the, the the oil has been kind of weighing it down recently since we've had a little pullback in oil. Well, that's, uh, I think it's still got a chance, and, you know, you, have, you had a... a Yesterday, you took out the lows of the last three or four days and didn't go down. You turned around and went up. That's a, a very positive sign. So that's why I'm saying as long as that holds, you know, you've got a good, uh, a good place to, uh, you know, keep your uh, risk as small as, uh, as possible. Awesome. Appreciate it, Larry. Appreciate the show. Thank you for calling in, Kevin. I appreciate it. That was Okay, that was Kevin from uh, Orlando, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, in the next few minutes, I'm hoping able to put up the uh, chart for Freeport MacMoran so that everybody uh, in the room would be able to, to see it. Again, my comments on that VMW, there is just nothing there uh, in that stock that makes us uh, interesting uh, to do anything right now. Here's what, uh, this is the FCM uh, let's try it again. FCX, uh, which is the Freeport MacMoran. And uh, you, you can see that we're right up against that 786 level. Uh, we gapped up last week. Uh, we went above the 1188 level. So this is a really key level that we have uh, against that, you know, right now. So uh, that's what I would do. So we'll see. But if you ever get an ABCD in this pattern, which would take you down to about uh, $9, uh, well, that's quite a bit down, but uh, that would really be a good spot to possibly, uh, you know, to lag onto this. And if we get above $14 a share in Freeport McMoran, this thing could really, really move uh, a great deal. So that's uh, another one that we're watching. Let's switch over here uh, to the bond market yesterday because we were fortunate enough uh, in the bond yesterday. We got a really big uh, down move. Uh, as you remember, when we hit that 77.12 uh, level, that was a you know 1.618 expansion on the long-term daily that we talked about so many times uh, here over the past week or so. Uh, as you can see it, we hit it uh, three times uh, between July 5th. Well, actually, we hit it four times because you can't see the, the July 5th uh, hit that we made. But we hit it four times, and then uh, we had the big sell-off. And this is a, the first big ABCD sell-off we've had in uh, about five weeks. So this should have some good support. And if you'll notice that little red box that's on the chart right above where we're trading right now, we're trading at around 172.04 right now. But if we get up to that 173.14, 173.20 level, that's going to be a really key level because that is going to match uh, the rally that we had between the 12th and the 14th. And there will also be a 38% retracement from the high. And, folks, if we don't get any higher than that, and if we don't get any higher than that, then you're going to be looking at something really nasty in the Treasury bonds. And if there's any market that is ripe to really hurt a lot of longs, this is the one. Because, uh, you know, everybody in the world, and including all of my closest friends, uh, swears that we're going to go to negative interest rates, you know, here in the uh, 
uh, in the interest rate markets here in our country also, just like we have in Turkey and Spain and Portugal and Italy and all these other places. And Jap Japan's going to come out now with a 50-year negative interest rate bond. Now, that's got to be a real winner. I, I just can't help but think anybody who wants to just buy that, that, that's really a good deal. You start out losing, boy, what a terrific idea that is. Okay, we'll see how that works. Anyway. Okay, let's move on to the uh, next thing that I wanted to cover. And give me one second here, and I want to post a chart up so we can look at it. And that is going to be in the British pound. Give me one second here because it is coming up to date is what I'm looking at. Doggone it. Ah, here we are. Okay, this is one that has been um, very good to us here. Uh, we had a beautiful Gartley pattern down there at the 128.50 level. We were able to ride it up all the way. Uh, well, we actually exited it around the 133.80 level. Uh, and now what we're looking at is potential for this to make another uh, ABCD pattern. This would be the second Gartley pattern in two weeks. And that would come in right around the 129.95, 130 level. Uh, in the British pound. Remember, the low on this was 127.40. Okay, we'll take a little break. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we are having a question uh, about the gold market. Uh, we still believe that we have a chance to make the uh, price in gold that we're waiting for around $1,300 uh, per ounce. We'll post this so you folks can take a look at the pattern that we're looking at. Uh, there's going to be an interesting spot here also at 1315 uh, in the gold. The reason for that is uh, after the... Um, Turkish uh, coup failed, the gold had rallied up to almost 1340, and that sets up a very nice three drive pattern that comes in around 1315. Uh, that'll be a 50% retracement of the whole move from uh, June 23rd, which was the Brexit thing, and then we rallied $110 uh, an ounce in gold, and this would be a 50% pullback. Uh, at that level, along with a three drive pattern. So 1315 is going to be a, a key level in gold, and of course, 1300 will also uh, be a key level. But I would have to say that I would have to try that 1315 uh, level just because it's such a beautiful three drive pattern. And uh, that it would really be um, a low risk. You'd only have to risk about $8 an ounce uh, in the gold. Uh, and believe me, gold has uh, has calmed down quite a bit from what it was uh, what it was doing uh, before because we're we're trading in ranges of, you know, five and ten dollars now as opposed to thirty and forty dollars, like we were re recently. Silver has held up incredibly well. Uh, it's still trading, you know, above the uh, twenty dollar. Uh, announced level by you know by, by barely, but the fact that it has been able to uh, you know back off by very much really means uh, that it's very very close. Now we opened a little lower in the the wheat. We're only about uh, uh, three or four cents away now, about well, three cents away now to see if we're going to get that 418 uh, in the wheat. But um, that's just you know it might not work, but that's the kind that you uh, that you'd like to see. Uh, in fact, if they do happen. Now, let's talk just a little bit about the stock market here. Uh, we've uh, really uh, went up and we've made all of these these patterns that we've talked about starting last week. Uh, these uh, ABC, excuse me, these uh, uh, five-point reverse waves that have an ABC in it, of course. But... Uh, this is the one that we're watching is that New York Stock Exchange Index. Uh, we've never closed above the 786. We went above it slightly uh, last Friday for just a little bit, and then we have it. But the problem is now that we're over this uh, full moon, and the full moon and the new moons have been really strong triggers that we've learned from our friend uh, Shane Smolian at wolftrader.net and also AstroTrend. Uh, um, our good friend Norm Winsky have both talked about that quite a bit. So, and, and also we also heard about this from uh, our good friend um, uh, Bill Meridian also. So all these guys are talking about this 14-day cycle that's been in there. And the question is, where is it going to turn? And we've had virtually no volatility uh, in the stock market, folks. I mean, there's been absolutely none. I mean, this the S&P is trading like it's asleep. You know, when you compare what's happening with the currency markets and what's happening with the metals market, I mean, there's absolutely no action going on in the stock market at all. I mean, the, you know, if we see an eight or ten point move in the S and P, which is four or five hundred dollars, we see that in about thirty minutes uh, in a uh, currency trade, and about ten minutes in a bond trade. So there's virtually nothing happening with volatility. There is no fear in the market at all. It's zero. So uh, that's probably the reason. Whether that changes or not. I don't know. All I know is that this pattern that we're looking at, this one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle, has some really big, uh, really big spots uh, to tell us that we're ready to turn down. And we did make new highs in the Dow Jones, and we made new highs uh, in the S and P, but we did not do it in the NYSE, which is the biggest market. Nor did we do it uh, in the uh, in the Nasdaq. Both of those now. I had uh, several emails about the Bradley model that I'll try to explain one more time because it's, uh, uh, if you'll notice the chart that I just posted, which is the New York Stock Exchange uh, with my Bradley model. And then there's other ways of looking at the Bradley model. Oh, we've got a caller. Let's just go. Right. Uh oh, he's just asking a question. Okay, he's asking about platinum, long or short. Well, 
I believe platinum has made some type of a major high in here. Ron, if you'll take a look at this in the Tiger Den, I'll, and if you need this chart, if you'll ask me it by email, I'll send it to you. But uh, we've now come down, and we were down about, we, we've broken about 15 to $20 off of that high. But that high that we made just last week was a 382 retracement to the, to the penny of where we were from 2014. Uh, that's a 382 retracement. As you can see, there's also an ABCD there going back to March. You've got uh, a high in March, a high in uh, May, and a high in July. So all those line up perfectly with price and time. So this is a really key uh, resistance level in platinum. That's what I'm looking at. And that's one of the reasons why it's hard to be, uh, you know, bullish uh, gold and silver here. But, you know, gold and silver are just not you know, backing off very much right now. The key is going to be if we hold 1300 in the gold, because if we don't hold 1300 in gold, we've made a major top here uh, in the metals, and we could uh, we could go down there and do some serious damage around 1100 even. So that's what I'm looking at in platinum. It's actually held up its uh, held up its own during that time. So uh, we'll see. It's only backed off a little bit, and as long as we're looking at this, then we're we're watching it. Uh, regarding that uh, VMW stock that uh, Tammy from Reno asked about, uh, that gapped up 8%. That's a, that's a pretty big gap. So that gaps it above that uh, old high, and that should take them up to at least to the um, 69 to 70 level, which would be a 1.2 uh, expansion of that move. So anyway, that's what we're looking at here with the uh, with the market in the in platinum, and we'll be watching it. Now, we 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 look at these. You know, we look at all of the the currencies when we're watching all of these. The Australian dollar, we look at uh, all of those. But uh, the key is that the euro is the one that is the biggest of all because it's 53% uh, of the dollar index, and uh, it's uh, the one that really leads the pack because you know got all of that is tied up in there. Okay. I have one question about the uh, the Nikkei. Uh, the Nikkei was up a little bit today, uh, and all it's doing is making a small three-drive pattern. Uh, it's still in a massive downtrend. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we've had lower tops forever and uh, lower bottoms also. We did uh, make a slightly lower bottom in June than we did in February, and, of course, that uh, that was the bottom when we had the Brexit thing and everything you know, turned around and had the big rally. But it's still in a downtrend, just like we are in the emerging markets, just like we are in the UK, uh, Germany, all across the Asia. Uh, all of these are nothing more than uh, uh, secondary rallies that we're seeing. We're the only one that is making new highs. And it could be, uh, we could be doing that for a considerable period of time. We are facing that uh, that pattern, which is that the diagonal triangle or reverse point wave. So I would watch that with a with a great deal of trouble. The key price to watch for uh, in the S and P in the futures is at uh, 2138. If we get below that, that would mean you'd trap uh, a great deal of people, and we'll see if that's it. 877-927-6648. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. 
It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we've been talking about this wheat market when we started the show. We'll just take a quick look at it here. Uh, wheat has now taken out the lows of yesterday by a half a cent. We got down to 419 and a half. We're looking to try to buy it around 418. The $64 question is, is it going to get there? Now, if you're willing to risk the extra two cents, you just buy it now. Uh, or you keep your order setting and uh, use it that way and believe in the numbers. My uh, advice here would be to just hang in uh, with the wheat here. Uh, keep your order setting there at uh, the 418 level. But the fact that it took out the previous low by just a half a cent is a positive sign, especially since we're coming in uh, with this uh, full moon that we have uh, running today. So those are the key things that I want to, uh, you know, keep our uh, – keep our uh, eyes on because it looks uh, very, very interesting. The same thing is, uh, you know, we're watching this gold market. We want to be a buyer down there at that uh, around 1315, 1316, which is about $1,600 from where we are right now. Uh, the question is, do you just buy it here, put your stop under those recent lows at 1322? And again, uh, if you believe in the numbers, you just leave your order setting there and uh, 1315, 1316, and, uh, you know, risk $8 and see if it's going to uh, work. That would be the same thing I would be uh, looking at in the wheat market because it's just opened. It's only been open about eight minutes. So it's still jockeying for position and we're closer to the low of the day than we are the high of the day. So it's still got a chance. And that, hey, you know, some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. You know, maybe maybe this is a wrong trade, but you still have to try it at 418 because you got so many things uh, lined up at that point with prices and time and everything. That's really, uh, you know, what you try to do. And nothing nothing can be uh, e easier than that. Now, we've got one market that is not acting very well. Uh, we're not involved with this anymore because it's broken below uh, key support. Uh, and that is the uh, crude oil market. Uh, we did get as high uh, last week at uh, 46.28, uh, we are now down a dollar and a half a barrel below that. Uh, the problem is, is you're not rallying off of this beautiful ABCD pattern that we had here. Uh, it was as perfect as you could get. All you got was a rally of a dollar ninety a, a barrel, uh, and and not only that, but the heating oil. Uh, actually went down and made new lows, setting up a price level of 135 uh, in heat oil, heating oil. And we hit uh, 137 and change yesterday, and we could easily go down and make that uh, number 
in heating oil also. So this is not acting well. Uh, in order, usually when an ABCD pattern happens in a bull market like this, the market explodes out of there, much like we did with the British pound. I mean, it moved uh, eight, eight, 800 points in two days. And uh, so those are the things that you've got to remember that the markets don't really explode out of this area. It's telling you that you've got to be able to, uh, you know, stand aside and uh, not uh, not do very much. But we did uh, uh, we got down as low as 136 uh, yesterday in the um, heating oil. We were looking for the low to be at 135. We're now a couple points above that. But I still think that uh, that we have to test that 135 level. In crude oil, whether that's going to be an effect on the the uh, the crude oil, let's let's re rephrase that, Larry. We need to test the 135 level in the heating oil, and whether that will affect the crude oil or not remains to be seen. Because crude oil is held up at the 4440 level quite a bit. We're only 60 cents away, and I believe that if you get below that, you're going to have some real serious. Uh, people looking at it very, very closely. If you remember our guest yesterday, Bill Meridian, who uh, knows uh, a lot of people across the, uh, the United Arab Emirates, and you'll notice that uh, he talked about the $44 a barrel being as a key level uh, in crude oil. So we want to be watching that with a great deal of, uh, of interest at that spot. Okay, the next question we had is the stock market, if it's not going to go down, is it still going to go up? Uh, there's a, if we take out the 2170 uh, in the uh, S&P, folks, uh, we've mentioned many times that there's a potential there for a move to uh, 2260. There's, uh, you know, there's always that possibility because, uh, as you see from this cash S&P chart that I'm going to post in here right now, you'll notice that we completed the five-point reverse wave. But we do have a potential that if we go higher, which would be above 2170 in the S&P futures, you know, we could look at a possibility of, of 2260, and that would be another straight. Remember, this is only the, the, the S&P and the Dow are the only ones that are making new highs. The NASDAQ is not making new highs. And, of course, the New York Stock Exchange Index is only making a 78% retracement, which uh, in itself is very, very important, especially when if you look at, at what happened back in 2007 when we had the exact same thing happen where we rallied up to the 78% uh, retracement you know, before, you know, heading down. So that's what we're looking at in stocks. So we'll see, uh, you know, what the next pattern will be as we as we go through here. Uh, we don't have any uh, special guests uh, uh, scheduled for this week unless someone happens to call in uh, and ask for a spot. Right now it'll just be you and I uh, going over some of these charts. By the way, if you have any uh, questions, it's 877-927-6648. Or you can mail, email me at LarryPesavento at gmail.com on a stock or something that uh, you want to be watching. We'll, we'll try to take a look at it from a pattern standpoint, and uh, that will give us an idea of you know, what some of these things are doing. Remember, these are all uh, related to patterns and numbers, folks. I don't do earnings. I don't do oscillators. It's just, uh, just price and time. That's all I'm looking at. And repetition of patterns. That's the whole the whole key to uh, see the things that we're, we're looking at. Oh, we've had a request here uh, on the Canadian dollar. Uh, this is a real interesting one here. Uh, now, sometimes what I'll do is I'll look at a four-hour chart, and I'm looking at a four-hour chart now in the Canadian dollar, and as you can see, uh, we had a, some type of a cycle bottom form here uh, on Friday. The Canadian dollar is already up into this 130 level. Uh, it's moved uh, uh, today. Uh, yesterday and today it's moved higher, which uh, was expected that it would do. Uh, it should have some pretty uh, pretty strong resistance at that 130, 150 level. Uh, that's been the high uh, over the past several months between May, June, and July. And if we can get, if you can get it above 132, then you've got a chance for a big run. But remember, the Canadian dollar versus the U.S. dollar is a, is almost a proxy for for crude oil. Uh, they trade, uh, you know, very very high correlations. So keep that in mind when you're watching the Canadian dollar versus the U.S. dollar. That 
that you're not going to get oil to, or uh, you're not going to get the Canadian dollar to go up a whole lot if oil is collapsing. That doesn't happen very often. I mean, that would really be uh, an outlier event. So we'll see uh, what uh, see what is going on. Okay, now uh, we're going to be looking at the market right now. We're, we're down towards the lows of the day, uh, around 2153 uh, in the S and P. Uh, the bonds that we looked about that we looked at stopped at the 382 retracement at 172 so far this morning, but it's still you know really early. Uh, you really can't uh, you know do too much. Remember, <clears throat> Shane Smolian from WolfTrader.net to sit to keep watching. The time frame one hour after the open of the New York Stock Stock Exchange at 10:30. That's when the Fed does their does their magic. Oh, brother! I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back. We've got a caller from uh, Toronto, Canada. Edward, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Larry. How are you? I am good. What can I help you with, my friend? Um, I'm just looking at New York Stock Exchange, and uh, I just wanted to check with you. Like It appears to me that the, the significant high um, on a weekly and monthly right now is 10,816. 
It uh, looks also like this is the 786 Fibonacci number or close to it. So if, if, if the uh, price penetrates uh, that number, is that uh, a good signal to get out of the market if you're short? And another Absolutely. question. Thank you. And another question, uh, I'm looking at the uh, ES uh, S&P Mini. And it looks also that the significant high there on a weekly and monthly chart is 21.68. And again, the same question, if it penetrates that or should it close uh, at some level above or if it penetrates you, basically, if it was you, would you be out or would you wait oh, for yes. some kind of confirmation? Yeah. Yeah, you got to get out because you don't see once you get above that, the next number that you're looking at is either the old high or a 1.27 expansion, uh, Edward. And, you know, this business is about not being right or wrong. It's about business and making money. So you can't stay in something, you know, with an opinion that is against you. You know, this is what people make their mistake is, you know, markets are seldom wrong. Men are often wrong and you have to be able to protect yourself. And as you mentioned, if we get above 10,820 uh, in the New York Stock Exchange Index, then th this would be equivalent to 2170 uh, in the S&P futures. You know, it could go a lot higher. It could go 100 points higher for, for reasons that no one knows, and it doesn't make any difference. They could still go there. And just one more question. I'm also looking at USD Japanese yen. And it looks like it is uh, like uh, playing with the high, but uh, it, it also it could change. Um, uh, what what is your opinion right now with USD Japanese yen? I think the Japanese yen is still in a trading range between 106 and 101. We got a shot at 95 possible. Okay. Thanks for calling in, Edward. Thank we you very much. It. Thank you. you. Bet. Bye, bye bye. bye. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.